everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog i truly don't know why i decided to start the vlog up here right now because i think it's the hottest day of the entire summer so i'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible before i pass out this vlog is a days in my life vlog style reading vlog you guys know i like filming a reading vlog at least once a month but i'm starting this vlog up here in my room right now for a good reason and that is to talk about one of my favorite sponsors which is book of the month i'm here once again to share with you guys why i love them so much and to show you guys the books that i chose for september also september is my birthday month so i tried choosing really really good books i think the months that are coming up which is september october november december is when things really start to get busy especially if you're going back to school or back to work but on the moments you do have time you want to make sure you have have a good book ready for you to read and that is why book of the month is so perfect because they do all of that research work for you their team goes through hundreds of new books every single month and from all of those books they choose what they think are the best ones and they give you a list of five to seven books for you to choose from if you're an audiobook girl they also have you covered because you can choose between an audiobook or a hardcover they offer free shipping and have the best price for new release hardcover fiction okay so my two books that i chose this month starting with this one called the blue sisters by coco mellers so it's basically about three sisters that are not very close they all come back to new york and reunite there because of the death of the fourth sister and then we have this book over here this book is called Sleep Tight by J.H. Marker. Just imagine me like late at night in my bed in my room after reading a few chapters of this and just closing this book and seeing this title. So this story is pretty much about a survivor of a serial killer. There was a serial killer that pretended to be a priest and after a while he was caught and there were like 19 people that he killed except one survived don't forget you guys can try out book of the month and get your first book for only five dollars using code cardigan i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog and let's go ahead and get into it <laughs> right now which i don't think has ever happened before this is literally like my glow up appointment i'm gonna get a facial and i'm gonna get my eyebrows done and i'm gonna get the derma cleaning but yeah i'm gonna bring you guys into this appointment and then i'm gonna rush back home and get back to editing This is actually insane. Okay, I just got out, eyebrows are done, facial is done, derma planing is done, my skin is literally softer than a baby's bottom. I got a strawberry and coconut protein smoothie. It's absolutely gigantic, so I'm really hoping it's good. That's a bomb, 10 out of 10. It is an early Saturday morning right now. I'm gonna try to do my version of reading for 24 hours. I just wanna read as much as possible throughout today and tomorrow morning. Today is gonna be a really fun day though, so I'm just gonna be reading throughout my day and bringing you guys along. So the book that I'm currently reading right now is this one, Keeping 13, but I'm gonna put a pause on this book and just read it on my own time, not for this vlog, because one, this book is really long, so if I do read this book today and finish it, that's probably gonna be the only book I read. And then two, I don't wanna rush this book. I'm really really liking this series and I don't want to rush to get to the end so I'm putting a pause on this book right now we're gonna choose my next read I think it's gonna be this one because I'm gonna go to the beach later and Emily Henry herself said that this was a perfect beach read book but anyways let me share with you guys the rest of the books Okay, this is excessive, I know, but I just want to have options. This book right here, Wicked Serve. I actually got this book in the mail and I've been seeing it on TikTok a lot. And I feel like it's a pretty short story. So we'll have this one here. Okay, this book, Happily Never After by Lynn Painter. It's such like a thin, quick little book. So this will be perfect. This is the one I'm going to start right now. And then we have these three here. This one, A Flicker in the Dark. I think I'm definitely reading in this vlog. There is no kind of book that I read quicker than a thriller. Then I have Love Unwritten by Lauren Asher and The Selection by Kira Kaz. I got this book for like a dollar at a library sale and I've never read it but it's a part of like a really popular oh right here a really popular and iconic series and I've never read it I've never started it so today might be the day. These are the choices for this reading vlog. Spirits are high but we'll see how much we actually get done starting with this one. Okay 
Okay, just got to page 27 and this book already started out kind of sad. Basically, the husband of the main woman in this book passes away unexpectedly. She's going through a lot of grief and she decides to go back to her house in Nantucket for the summer. And I just read what the five star weekend actually means. She read about this thing that another widow did where they basically organize a girl's trip. She's basically going to invite all of her best friends from different eras of her life. Her childhood best friend, her high school best friend, her best friend throughout her 30s, and her best friend throughout her 40s. Even though a couple of the women she hadn't seen or talked to in years, she wanted to celebrate the friendships that had made her who she was. That is literally the cutest storyline. <laughs> got ready for the beach it's literally like a million degrees so i just want to be there already but anyways we're gonna pack my bag super quick this is my suzanne bag that i love i'm gonna do some water a little celsius a little bar just in case i get hungry clip sunscreen lip balm tanning oil a towel the most important part my book I'm back home, I just showered, and we're back to reading. Okay, tell me why it's like 100 degrees outside and I ordered ramen. You know a book is actually good when I'm reading while I'm eating instead of watching my Netflix show because I'm literally an iPad kid when it comes to eating like I have to have my show on but this is what we're doing and I'm loving it. Okay it's about to be 9 p.m. and I just finished the five star weekend. I really 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 enjoyed this book and I'm starting to think it's a little insane how I haven't found a flaw with this author like every single book i've read this is my third one of ellen hildebrand's books and they're just really 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 good i think i'd give this book 4.5 but honestly the idea for this book is so unique and special like the idea of bringing four really really close special best friends from different eras and phases of your life was so interesting to read about you go into depth with every single character and you get to see what they're all going through and what they're all escaping from this weekend. Also something I'm really starting to love about Ellen Hildebrand and the characters that she writes is that they're all older, like they're in their 30s, 40s, or 50s. So when this book starts, the characters have lived a life already and it's just a really cool point of view to read from. I just thought it was a perfect book where the emphasis of the story is female friendships and the importance of that. Okay, actually one more thing that I was thinking the entire time I was reading The Five Star Weekend. I've never seen Desperate Housewives, the show, but I can just imagine that this book right here is pretty much that show in a book. It's just a group of ladies that are trying to have a good time, that are going through a lot in their personal lives, and it's wholesome, and it's funny, and there's drama, and there's tears, and there's secrets revealed. And even though it took me like all day to read it, we're finally done. I really just want to switch genres right now. So I think the next book I'm going to start is going to be this one right here, The Selection. I only have the first book, so I'm hoping it doesn't end on a cliffhanger. This is a fantasy romance dystopian sort of vibe. It's only 9 p.m., but I really want to finish this book tonight. That may be a little too confident of me, but the font in this book is huge, so I feel like I could do it. It's 
one in the morning. I have this much left right here, but this book is so good. I'm so tired right now, but I'm enjoying this book so much. It is dystopian and fantasy, but I think it's mostly the romance. This book is also literally The Bachelor, but in a royal way. So this prince is trying to choose a wife between 30 girls and he's trying to get to know them and see which one will become the princess? I don't know, but it's really entertaining. I have like a hundred pages left and I refuse to go to sleep until I finish this book. It is two in the morning. I just finished the selection and I'm literally ordering the second book of this series right now. Gets here tomorrow. Perfect. I feel like I'm gonna have to tell you guys the rating of this book in the morning because right now this second that I literally just finished it I want to give it five stars because I enjoyed every second of this story, but it is like such an easy story like the writing is definitely ya i was not bored for a single second which says a lot because my eyes are literally closing i'm so tired but it was still really really good i'm gonna choose my next read maybe start the first couple of chapters and then i'm gonna go to bed get an iced vanilla matcha and i also get the breakfast blt bagel it is truly too hot to even think right now oh that looks pretty the little palm tree but i just got a little sunday bagel and a little sunday matcha i got an iced vanilla matcha with non-fat milk non-sweetened they've never asked me if it should be sweetened or not so i hope it's not bad because i don't know if that means to add like extra sugar or if it's a different type of matcha that's really good okay I got a breakfast BLT, so it has bacon, egg, mayo, cream cheese, tomato, I added onion, and on a sesame bread. Oh, that's delicious. But anyways, I just have to tell you guys that I literally woke up this morning thinking about the selection book. Now that I woke up like refreshed and I can gather my thoughts about that book, I honestly think it was really, really, really good. I was like, what the hell is on my ceiling? Okay, and it feels crazy to say that I think I wanna give it five stars because it's such a simple story. It's such a quick story. The writing style isn't anything groundbreaking, but I think that's why I enjoyed it so much because especially with fantasies and dystopian books, I feel like sometimes those stories get really, really long because obviously it's a very different universe and a different reality. So the author usually goes into detail about every single thing. Sometimes when you're reading it, especially at the beginning, it's very confusing and you sometimes just don't really enjoy the beginning of that because it's just a lot of context and i think with the selection she didn't really do that she explains what's going on pretty quick and the story just starts also it's a lot of romance like it's literally a romance book with a dystopian background like i told you guys yesterday i already ordered the second book which is elite it's getting here tomorrow and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna start it tomorrow because i'm like hooked i think i'm gonna go with what i feel for rating that book and i'm just gonna give it five stars it's not a five star writing style like it's nothing crazy but i really 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 did enjoy it so we're giving this election five stars that is what i feel that is what i'm going with and i actually brought my new book i haven't started this yet because i've been editing this vlog that you're watching all morning the gist of this book sounds actually terrifying i'm gonna read it to you guys just so you guys can get a little bit of what i'm gonna be reading when chloe davis was 12 six teenage girls went missing in her small louisiana town by the end of the summer her own father had confessed to the crimes and was put away for life now 20 years later chloe is a psychologist and getting ready for her wedding all of a sudden a local teenage girl goes missing and then another that terrifying summer comes crashing back so pretty much six girls go missing in this small town and the main girl's dad is put away for life for that 20 years later this girl becomes a psychologist she's about to get married and a couple of girls start going missing again so instead of doing normal bride things this woman is about to go and maybe find out who actually did it because it might have not been her dad if you guys have read this book or the selection i'm so curious to know what you thought especially because i think the selection was really 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 book talk popular like a few years ago and i don't know why i never read it i also went on goodreads last night to put in my rating and my little review and the reviews for the selection were so bad like when i tell you i've never seen more one stars for a book and it kind of made me question my rating and like what i thought of it but i don't care because i genuinely did really really enjoy it <laughs> 